Hey everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up a couple daily pages in my B6 Night Owl journal. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie, you guys. Thank you again so much for tuning in with me today for another plan with me. Well, I guess it's technically decorate with me video. Um, today is Wednesday when you're seeing this, September 11th. The quote for today says, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. And that is by Oprah Winfrey. So I do have the link for this um, daily, like perpetual calendar in my description box. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely be sure to go and check that out. So I have my, you know, like I said, my aisle paper journal, and I still absolutely love this thing. Now there are days when I don't get to it. There are, you know, whatever it is, what it is, but that's just me. <laughs> so I absolutely love having a planner. I love using a planner, but the reality is sometimes I just don't like I, I get into a rut where I just don't, but this by far has been my absolute favorite planner to date. And I don't know if it's the planner specifically, or if it's the size specifically that I love the most, but either way, I've been the most consistent in this one. So currently I have my school planner, this planner, and then my budget planner, and that's it. <laughs> so I have simplified my life all the way down, which is amazing. In the front, just in case you are new here, in the front, I have decided to set this up as like my um, health log. So that is what I use up here in the front. And then in the back is more of like a journal slash to-do list slash scripture writing thing. So, you know, just kind of depends on the day. Um, but for this particular week, I'm doing this like s'mores theme. So I wanted to have this dashboard here. I put my uh, weekly overview page here this time with Monday. We're going to be setting up Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's what I did for Thursday and Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. So on this page, I will put my next um, weekly layout and then do the daily pages here. So I do like having the weekly overview. Again, it's not something that I necessarily um, use like, you know, all the time. I don't really have that much going on most of the time. So I do just kind of write down the important things here. Um, just since I don't use the weekly planner for actually weekly planning. And then I do put like my monthly plans in, you know, the regular like month section. So, you know, so I'm still utilizing the whole thing. I just use it a little bit differently than probably th the traditional method. And then I like to kind of throw in some of these large deco stickers, you know, every once in a while. So there we go. All right. So just to kind of give you a run through of what's happening. Okay, so this sticker kit, as you can see, is from Sweet Kawaii. If you've been here, then you know I absolutely adore Sweet Kawaii. So this is where we are. I think I was using, yeah. So I was taking these giant marshmallows and I used to be a huge, huge, huge fan of s'mores. I'm not really sure if I could eat them anymore just because you know sometimes my my um this new weight loss stomach <laughs> sometimes it does not allow me to eat things that are like you know too sweet or anything um so i know the last time i even went to was in a situation where s'mores were present i kind of ate them in pieces <laughs> So a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of marshmallow, a little bit of, I can eat graham crackers like all day. Um, but I just kind of ate them separately and I didn't risk trying to put it all together. So I don't even know if I can eat s'mores anymore, but I still love them. And this sticker kit is the cutest. So I also have a link for Sweet Kawaii down in the description box 
I am not affiliated with them, but you can use the code Kelly10, K-E-L-L-Y-E-10, -E and that will save you 10% on your order. Um, but yeah, so my link for that is in, there is a link for the shop in my description box, just in case you are not familiar with Sweet Kawaii. Which, if you're not familiar with Sweet Kawaii, then that means you are new to my channel. So welcome. <laughs> Because I use Sweet Kawhi all the time. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some washi down. You guys, this is the cutest. And sometimes I get in this thing where I'm like, I just really want to start, you know, being a little bit more minimal. I'm not going to say functional because although I do decorate, my planner is very functional for me. It may not be functional for others, but for me, even with all the stickers, <laughs> it's still very functional. So sometimes I toy with, you know, I guess it just not being so cutesy, you know, wanting to be more of a grown up um, style planner with, uh, you know, more florals and things like that. But then I'm like, mm, but why? <laughs> But why? Like, if these things bring you joy, then just do that. And that's okay. If Kawhi brings you joy, then use Kawhi. It doesn't have to be grown up. So let's put... I feel like his name is Frank. No, Frank is the Yeti. I don't know what his name is. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm now I think about it, I'm pretty sure Frank is the Yeti. I'm going to have to look. I don't remember his name. Um, I love this sticker real bad. The Hot Mess Express. Because I say that all the time. I am a proud member of the Hot Mess Express. Uh, where do I want it to go? Okay, let's just pop it up here. And then for this one, this is always the um, challenging part of the process. So where do we want the stickers to go? making a little to-do list. Down here. Okay. I know I pulled out some to-do stickers. Where, oh, here they are. Like, I remember doing that. Pop that in there. And this in here. Okay. And then, I don't know. I was using brown for the other days, but I kind of want to switch it up for this one. Ooh, that's too dark. Let's see if I can use orange. Oh, yes, I like this one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So then I just go through, which I did get this idea from Kelly. And just add some journaling lines. Ooh. As you can see, they are not perfect. <laughs> but for me, these lines just relieve the anxiety of trying to fill up this entire page because when I see all these um you know boxes I'm like I can't write that much <laughs> and these lines are like 
Well, that's okay. You don't have to, you know, you just write what you can write within this space. Um, we want to go to here. So that's what I've been doing. And it has been working out very, 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 very nicely for me because I'm like, I guess a new journaler. Like I don't really, I don't even honestly remember journaling very much as like a kid. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's nice for me to have the ability to do so, but not be overwhelmed by it. And I could just kind of put down, you know, key moments or thoughts or feelings or whatever, but not have to like, you know, dear diary, <laughs> my way all the way through. So I think that is it, you guys. Um, I am going to, so like here, I will put the scripture for the day in this spot. And then I will put the scripture for the day in this spot. So that's why those two spots are blanks. Obviously, this is where my to-do list will go. Um, let's just kind of put this in just to kind of separate that space a bit. And I think, yep, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.